Mbaka send a secret message to Ebukobi. Ebukobi refused to hearken to the voice of Mbaka. Ebukobi refused to hearken to the voice of Mbaka. Ebukobi called his Zion followers and he told them to come out in their numbers and vote Hopo Zodemma. Ebukobi one way and the another, try to fox insecurity in the southeast upon innocent people. Why the person he is calling his Zion members to go and vote is the same person causing insecurity in the southeast, especially in Imo State. Ebukobi called his followers to go and vote for Hope was on them. PM, the Prime Minister of the Afghan government, told Ebukobi, come openly and tell people that Hope was on them is the person killing people in Imo State. Ebukobi refused. Ebukobi has been facing katakata since that time. Now, Ebukobi, according to him, when he made his own sermon, he says, the parable he says, concerning things fall apart. He says, when Obi Okonkwo came to his father, instead of his father to save him, his father then took a knife and cut his neck, that the people should now know that now this is a game of jealousy. Mbaka is not playing game of jealousy over Ebukobi. Mbaka told Ebukobi, that the game he is playing, those are in G miracle he is doing. It is not favoring the children of God. The only thing that can favor the children of God is preaching of Biafra, just like the referendum is going on. Ebukobi has the power to tell his own Zion followers to go and register for Biafra. And they cast their vote. Mbaka says long time ago that Buhari is the Messiah of Nigeria. Mbaka also revealed that Hope Zodemma will take over from Ihedi Orama. When our leader Mazen Namdekano attacked Mbaka, and all of us on the media attacked Mbaka. Mbaka is someone that has a listening ear. We have sent a lot of messages to Adoration Ministry boss. Mbaka watched our messages and Mbaka has a listening ear and he gave a listening ear to what we are doing. Then Mbaka suddenly made a U-turn and says he has not met Namdekano before. And he has not spoken with him. Any place in Namdekano is, may God bless him. That was when Mbaka made U turn and he began to promote Biafra movement, which Mbaka expected Ebukobi to do as his own boy. But Ebukobi has been carried away by the things of the world. He said it is jealousy, he is progressing. Ebukobi may be progressing under money because Mazen Namdekano says a black man values his stomach more than his own life. Ebukobi is now challenging his own master, which is Mbaka, that Mbaka is jealous of him. But in another way around, contrary to whatever that is happening, is that Mbaka passed the information to Ebukobi to use his own multitude, use his own power, and let his multitude to know that the referendum for Biafra is ongoing, that he should channel more on Biafran re 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 restoration and the Biafran freedom, just like Mbaka is doing. Mbaka one time spoke against sit at home when our prime minister told him, Mbaka, don't involve yourself in this 
pretend you are trying to involve yourself. Then Mbaka came openly, publicly, and told the public that he wanted to speak or having kind of patient to the people who is sitting at home. That Simon Eba, a word of Simon Eba flogged him. Then he says, now he understand the meaning and the reason sit at home should go on. That this sit at home is for the liberation of Biafra and the freedom of Mazen Namdekano, which Ebukobi is using to make policies that he has asked people, he has asked the politician to release Mazen Namdekano for him as his birthday gift. But if you want Namdekano to come out, and those people you are giving money or supporting in your ministry to have total freedom, what you should give to them is freedom of Biafra. Because in Biafra lies the hope. Mbaka has now found out that in Biafra lies the hope of those adoration ministry members. And Mbaka is trying for Ebu Kobi to understand the real hope of Zion members lies in Biafra. That he should give more light to Biafra. More than promoting fake miracles, arranging miracles. That all these things, all these slogans they are doing, that this is all they know before. That if you call yourself a man of God, what you should do is to channel your energy on Biafran liberation, where milk and the honey, mineral resources, ghost and diamond is being found. And you know that hope was a demma which you, Ebu Kobi, is promoting. That the hope was a demma came from fourth position to become first as governor of Imo State. You know that this is not from God. This is injustice speaking loud, very, very clear in front of every Tom and Jerry. Now, Mbaka told Ebu Kobi, when Ebu Kobi ran to him, Ebu Kobi said he ran to his father and his father then used a knife to cut his neck. He used things fall apart to give example. Mbaka told him that Simon Eba told you to come and apologize for telling people to go and vote for a murderer which is hope was them Ebu Kobi refused to do that and our PM told Ebu Kobi that if you refuse to do this that you will be facing war Ebu Kobi came to the, his adoration center in his Zion center he says that in this 2024 he is going to face war and the war which is Bukobi is facing today is the war of spiritual war that will bring him down because Ebukobi, calling himself a man of God, supported a murderer that has killed a lot of people in Imo State. And Ebukobi says he cannot speak against the politicians because the politicians are the people who is funding his church. If he speak against them, he they will not they will not fund his church again. People who believe in materialistic, people who believe in money. Mazen Nandekano foresaw all these things. That's why he made it open long time ago that a black man values his stomach more than his life. Then we ask Ebu Kobi, what do you think? That can God can answer to your members in the in your church more than Biafra. Biafra is the thing that will give them good road. Biafra is the thing that will give them steady electricity. Biafra is the thing that will give them a steady health care. Biafra is the thing that will give them good education. Mbaka is now preaching for Biafra, and he looked upon his boy, which is Ebu Kobi. And instructed Ebu Kobi to follow his full step in order for them to restore the kingdom of God and save the children of God. Found in Biafran land, in Igbo land, Ebu Kobi refused and misinterpreted 
his master, which is Mbaka. And when Matthias Ezako spoke against all the atrocities being committed by all these people who call themselves man of God, Ebu Kobi summoned his warriors to go and arrest Matthias Ezako. It has been open. And that is why you see when this thing come up, Matthias Ezako came up again. He is now calling Ebu Kobi the virgin boy. Who doesn't want to get married after Pope have legalized the gay? Are yeah, you getting it now? Then Mbaka is now fighting a just fight to liberate the children of God. This is the simple problem, the simple misunderstanding Mbaka is having with Ebukobi. It is not because of multitude. It is not because of money. Not at all. Mbaka, everybody knows Mbaka right from when he became a reverend father as a minister. As a minister of God. When Mbaka missed the road before, promoting Buhari and the whole pose of them and Nigerian government, we descended on him. Mbaka made the U-turn and now Mbaka is speaking the pure truth to his followers and every other person that want to hear the truth. Expecting hope, uh, expecting Ebuka to kill in line in as much as two of them are the people who has the highest population. Ebuka will be then refused. That is why Mbaka called him and he told him to stop arranging miracle because Ebuka will be is doing arranging miracle. Nobody has ever come out from Zion ministry and say that he was blind. Ebu Kobi made him to see. Nobody has ever come out from Zion ministry that said that he was crippled. Ebu Kobi made him to walk. Nobody has come out from Zion ministry and he said he was dumb. And Ebu Kobi made him to speak. It has never happened in the physical form. That's why... Mbaka let him know, stop this arranging. There is a very heavy task in front of you.